Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to a brand new series. I'm going to be showing you snippets of my whole <laughs> journey, the ups, the downs, the funny bits. Whoa. Blood, sweat and tears is going to go into this series. This is the most ambitious undertaking I've ever done and it's the biggest series of videos I've ever done as well. I'm going to be building the ultimate mountain biker's van. I've always been interested in overlanding, camping, taking the family on holiday, off-roading, just being in the great outdoors. Slightly exhilarating. Watch your hand, make sparks! <laughs> This, my friends, is Blake Builds Van Life, powered by Works Tools. So for this massive project, I'm gonna need a little, well, maybe a lot of help from my friends. So first up, I've called upon my very good friend, Martin Jones. Martin is a mechanical guru who knows all that is needed to make this dream of mine happen. Secondly, I've also teamed up with one of the most respected power tools company out there, Works, to make sure I've got exactly the right tools for the job. Drills and drivers, lights, angle grinders, saws, and plenty more. I'm all tooled up and I'm ready to rock and roll and drill some holes. Welcome back you beautiful people. This is episode three of Blake Builds Van Life sort of situation. Uh, this is how far we've got with framework. So this episode is all about finishing the framework for the kitchen, this little bed that we're gonna make for the little ones and uh, start the wiring, which is gonna be electrifying. <laughs> While I've been super busy, Martin's bought a van, but his van needed a bit of attention to say the least. It has some bodywork damage and a blown engine. So he's got his work cut out and I'll help where I can. The time lapse is making it look so easy and quick. <laughs> We've been doing this for like probably an hour and a bit. Yeah, it's about an hour. But it's taken an engine out of a vehicle. There's a few awkward bolts. Oh, yeah, there's some awkward ones, but we're nearly there. We've got the crane out. We can lift this out and then we can go and start doing the kitchen in that. Okay, I'm gonna explain what we're doing just over there. All this steel is for this last little bench at the back, but this is gonna be a pull-out bit for another bit of a, a bed to make it a little bit bigger. And I'll explain, look at this. That's gonna, it's gonna slide in there like that. Obviously not there, but I'm using this as an example. We're gonna use this small box that's gonna slide through one of these, through there, three little boxes through another box, and then you just pull it out and then you can double the size of the bench that you're sitting on. So that's the idea of all of this. And we've come up with that. I think it's pretty good. I think it's good. And you just use the backrest from this chair and you put it down here, which is the perfect size for an extra bit. Pretty clever, huh? And let's get welding. Right, before I carry on making this bench just down here with Martin is, we're gonna sketch on the van where we want, well, where I want sockets and the wires. Basically, bed area, you're gonna have at least two USBs, I suggest one either side. Yeah. And you want the switches to turn the lights on and off. Yeah. And you want a switch to turn the heat on and off. I'll Separate S. light switch, and then we're gonna have a main switch. Heater switch. Yeah, and a main switch. And a mains. Switch. So you know you can turn the whole the whole van on and off inside here if you need to. Okay. USB. And that'd be USB C and normal USB as well okay. in the same picture. So have one of those there, one back there. Yeah. So I'm gonna find that back there. Ow! Oh. <laughs> US B. <Yeah. laughs> this is overcoming now where the wires put that there. We'll have little probably so two, two spotlights. Two spotlights in the now up here, you're gonna charge all of the... Yeah, so I wanna have K 
camera charging equipment in one of these one cupboards of these. up here. So if we put two USBs in here, yeah, which will be USB and USB-C, so two of them. So we have the main control panel up here. Yeah. So in the garage, right, we're gonna have one big flood square light in the middle. Light. Bat. <laughs> Pump. Alright, this is this is getting complicated. Wiring down there for the heater. Yeah. The heater. So we got a diesel heater to go in, which we've kind of made fit for it. We've got two batteries going on. We've got one there, obviously, and one behind me. Both will be fed by solar. Both will be split charged. Yeah. Um, but one will be primarily all the draw for the interior of the van, and the other one will be used for the garage. Garage. We're gonna have solar panel up there, 300 watt. It's got okay. the ability to flip between the two, so it's got a battery balancer. Yeah. So it can keep both batteries the same rather than overpowering one. And we're going to run extra wires just in case we want to put an extra admins. socket yeah. somewhere, and then we would label it within the wire where it goes. Yeah. Enough of that. Let's draw a diagram. Let's. Uh, we've got to do a little shopping list because we can order it now and it'll be here tomorrow, which is good. Talking about shopping, let me do a quick breakdown on costs so far. Servicing the van cost me £200 with the help of Mr Jones. Steel so far has cost me £239, which is a lot less than wood. Windows, 301 a lot more than I thought. The fridge cost me £299. I went for the biggest one I could find, with the most room. And I've ordered some of the wiring, which turns out is very expensive. And this has come in at £570. There's still loads more I need to order regarding the wiring. So far, with all of that, including the van cost, it's brought it up to £8,609. And that price will continue to climb, but I will keep you updated on how much it's cost me till the end. Okay, excuse the roar, that's the heater. Um, next bit is this piece that I'm gonna pull out to double the size of this bench. So I'm gonna build this frame out of smaller tubing. That's why these holes are all like that. Those holes are there so I can push in the other bits of steel. Give it some old legs like this so it can go down onto the floor. Let's do that, let's get some cutting, measuring, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, let's do that bit more, bit more welding. Okay, this is the uh, the front edge of the pull-out bed. Now I want it to be super snug. Oh, okay. Look at that. So that's flush there, flush there. A little bit of room in there for some welding. Woo! I actually, I actually need that so I can go weld it all together. Let's go out here. You know, we took that engine out of this van, Martin's van. Look at this. <laughs> he's like, as, he's happier than a kid in a candy store, this guy. Yes, every Look at it. Bow I could find. What's that? This is every bow I could find. I did every single one. Look at this, stay with it. Stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at all. I would not know where any of that went. It's a nice clean engine bay rebuilding environment. I know already where everyone can play. Yeah, don't, yeah, just, like, they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as it goes in perfectly yeah. and it works and it runs. We run into Boom. Mind. Come, 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 look at, come look at this welding. Man, you'll be chuffed with this welding. Look at this. So I did do stage by stage because I was a bit worried I'd go off offline but I think that was good. I've uh, welded all around here, all this is welded. I've welded it to the floor, I had to like bridge it there. That's welded, that's welded. That's, that's not, that's not going anywhere. This is the bed framework. It's uh, it was a little tricky one, but it works, look. <laughs> that is genius. 
So this is Martin's van, obviously. We doing a, did a thing on it, the van. I'm gonna show you the back of his because it's getting the same sort of thing. He got a bit uh, left out. Now you can see the bikes are in here, perfect. So this one here is a little bit lower than mine, but I'm gonna point something out, look at this. Now, if you're on a budget and you had a three-seater van in the front like there, three seats, so you got two seat here and a one seat there, excuse the mess, you can actually put the double from the front there if you wanted to take some friends. Now look at that, perfect. You, you can just build a frame for it, weld it and bolt it in there and then you've got your seats. Whereas for me, I needed to make some seats. Plus you can't really turn that into a bed really. So we've built that, but that is a good way of uh, cutting the cost down. So you're getting this double seat out and you can place it in the back over there. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna continue this bit right here on the floor, the kitchen. I'm gonna remove this seat because we're gonna start the wiring. Ah, oh, yeah. These are hard. Oh, right, look at that. That's why it's so, it took so long to get out. It's because this bolt bolts through the through the chassis, through the floor of the van, and then just goes outside, and it gets caked in rust and dirt and that. And you got to drag all that through the through the threads. If you had an older van, there would be a nightmare to get out for sure. Done. I've got one more bolt. I think. This, I need to uh, address this because this on the outside is not gonna work because it just looks ugly. Martin says to move it and I agree. We wanna tuck it all in the voids of the van, so up here. And that's the plan, isn't it? I can't just go and cut it because we don't know where wires will be going. Well, you need to open them to see the colors, but have you shown how many wires are actually in that massive box? What, what the hell? What, 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 all of that room? It's ridiculous. And you got that much of a little wiring loom? Well, um, yeah, if you cut it. Get rid of that. Cut it, tuck it away, and it'll make it much neater then when you finish the rest of the van. Yeah. This is probably one of the first things I bought <laughs> because when I bought the van, I drove home and uh, you know, van life and that, look what I done. A huge dent. So that's probably one of the first things I bought. I was like, I need one of them right now. Need one, need one now. So I've installed it, but I'm doing it now. So, because we actually need to run the cables for it. You can't install that when you've done all the inside because that means your wires are going to be, oh, anyway. Reversing camera in. Right, so I've removed the uh, wiring from all around there. It's all on my lap. Um, but now I've got to cut it and then feed it. But instead of me just cutting the cable and then I don't know what wire goes to which wire, I don't want to make a mistake. So I've come up with this idea. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to tape the wires like this. So one, one, so I know one will go to one, two will go to two, and so on. So as soon as I've marked it, just like this, I'll snip it. And then I know, when I come to joining them again, one will go to one. Probably a very long way of doing it, but I will know that the cables will go together in the right order. Let's carry on. So look at that, we've got rid of all of that um, conduit where the cable was running externally in the van, but I had to cut it in two sections. I had to cut the back and feed it round because I didn't want to kind of come out there. So I've hidden it all behind there. It's taken me ages cutting my hands and slicing it. 
Got to this section right here where I need to join this to this one. Okay. I've worked out because I've pulled the cable. It's not, I haven't got an, it's not all the way down on the bottom there because I've pulled it all back. I've worked out I need a meter extra. I got 30 little cables that I need to connect together. It's 30 meters of cable I need to do. That's one whole roll. That's a lot of cable. But the reason I've done that is because it's tidier and also now I'm, when I put my units up here, I'm not gonna have to work around a cable and just make it look, try and hide that. Right, 30 meters. This, friends, is like a mechanic's nightmare when you're working on bikes with internal routing <laughs> cables. Oh, look. Oh, look. Look. See ya? You like a bit of fishing though, don't you, Blake? Fly fishing. Not pike fishing, that's boring. But this sort of fishing is great. Oh my gosh. That's sharp. Moment of truth, my wiring. Oh, yes. That's a top one? Yeah, it's working. I can see it. Look. Look at that. I'm an electrician. Uh, reverse light. Where's reverse? Don't, don't you start mine. I'm being serious. All right. Well, maybe I haven't connected that one. I'm freaking out, mate. What's the matter? Freaking out. The bulbs are all right. Show me how you put it in reverse. What are you doing? Clutch, yeah. Obviously. You don't have to push the clutch so the engine's not running, but. That's first, mate. You gotta lift, you gotta lift it up. You gotta lift it up. Oh. Lift the thing up. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about it. I bet it's working now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't even know if I need that. Ah, that is hilarious. The lights do work. They do work this now. one because well it's done. in my hand. <laughs> that is brilliant. Ah, oh, I forgot oh, to lift the knob. Look. Like... I was freaking out, man. I thought I'd pop some wires and feel like an absolute tool. Absolute tool. Right, let's pull this back on. <laughs> Fridge is in, but I need to work out my kitchen height, which is going to be 900 because that's the same height as the kitchen in my house. So I'm going with that, plus the 20 mil for my worktop. So put this piece of wood in here. I'm going to cut some angle iron. I'm using angle iron so I can mount my work, you know, my fascias to it nicely. Plus I'm not using wood and I'm not using screws, which screws and wood tend to move and creak. So this is gonna be solid. I'm gonna cut 900 high, three of them, two for the front and one for this side so I can mount this fascia too. And then I'm gonna run some bars across the top to mount the worktop. So I'm gonna cut those now. Because my welding's impeccable, I destroyed the tip of this, didn't I? Yeah, welding too much of an angle, holding it too much of an angle, so yeah. it, it basically burnt that off instead of actually physically welding the metal. But don't worry, I we bought have another a new one. one. Just in case I do the same to that one. Oh, look at that. 
And then they've got another tip as well. Blake was here. We can frame all this stuff at the end of it if you want. <laughs> you need that whole wall. Just frame it all up. There's a piece of metal we cut raw. Right, actually there's six over there. I mean two yeah, over one, there. Yeah. Two. The reverse light's working now. The bloopers are going to be incredible. Look at that, now we've got an open fridge, which is ideal, because we, when those beers are flowing anyway. But we've made it wider. It opens yeah, I know. So it didn't. <laughs> yeah. But now it's wider, which is good, but we can't finish it just yet. No. Because we're waiting on bits to come in the post. That fit not the top, so we need to be yeah. able to make sure they fit in properly. We need the cooker and we need the um, sink. sink. What has turned up? Go on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> look, look what's turned out, Martin. Camper glass, windows. I can't fit them yet. Why not? So I'm thinking of installing my windows because they've just come and I'm excited to cut big holes in my van. One here and one over there. Pretty soon I'm going to leave you to this, I think. Oh, what? I might leave you to it. You're not going to help? No. I've never cut a hole in a van. You'll be fine. Even you can't mess this up, mate. Oh, <laughs> I just messed that up. We've got a welder, we can fix it, don't worry. <laughs> Have you got any, like, Body filler. <laughs> you got you body more, filler. You mess this up, you need more than body filler. Oh, right. Productive. How does it feel putting holes in the van? Slightly exhilarating. Don't you think? I'm slightly worried about how much, you, how excited you are, sorry, about drilling holes in your van. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really loud! <laughs> I'm stoked, dude. Stoked. Like a campfire that this is going to be parked next to. One day when it's done, it's on fire. On, <laughs> yeah. Well, with my wiring, the wiring. Yeah. After my wiring, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, um, can I get a 99 with a flake times two, please? No. end of episode three it's been a little bit sporadic because I've been waiting on bits and bobs that have come through the post like I haven't got my worktop or my sink or my cooker so I can't really finish this bit off which is okay it's van life these things happen you're waiting for post but this did come through the post not this man right here <laughs> <laughs> What's that, you beautiful people? <laughs> <laughs> not that the window the window came through the post and I was like, Martin, Mark, I have to cut a big hole in my van and put this in. So I've got this one. I'm still waiting for the one for the sliding door. That's still coming. Got this done. Got the, I started a bit of wiring. Talk about wiring. In the next episode, it's going to be all about wiring. But I'm going to focus more about the garage because that's where all the wiring is going to be going. So that's going to be episode, episode four. And that's going to be electrifying. And also it's going to heat up as well. You know why? Because I'm going to put in a boiler. Thing that's going to heat my water so I can have a hot shower. And I install sliders in the garage. I screw in some expensive equipment. I have the biggest mistake yet. It's going to be a big one. See you there. See ya. <laughs>